Okay, question 22. Part A, simplify fully 3e all to the power of 0. Doesn't matter what's in the brackets here, folks. Anything to the power of 0 is always 1. So we should always get that mark. Next part, simplify fully. 64x to the power of 6 over 25y squared all to the power of negative 1 half. Okay, so we're going to do this in stages here. The first thing, I'm going to deal with the fact that this is a negative power. When we've got a negative power, what we can do is turn that fraction upside down. 25y squared over 64x to the power of 6. Keep the brackets up. Oh, we've a little error there. So we'll put the squared. And what well, the power now is no longer negative. It becomes positive. Okay. Now the next thing we need to realize is that the half. The power of a half is acting on the numerator and the denominator. So, 25 to the power of a half is the same as the square root of 25, which is 5. y squared to the power of a half, you would times the powers here, and 2 times a half is 1, so we get y to the power of 1. I'm just going to leave that as y. Now let's deal with the denominator. 64 to the power of a half is the same as the square root of 64, which is 8. x to the power of 2, all to the power of a half, you would do 2 times a half, which is 1, which is going to give us x. Okay, part C. Write 5 over x minus 3 minus 4 over x plus 3 as a single fraction in its simplest form. Okay, now normally when we add or subtract fractions with different denominators, we find a common denominator. Now, very often we go for the lowest common multiple of the, numer of the denominator. We don't know what x is, so a way of finding a common denominator is to simply multiply the two denominators. So the common denominator I'm going to say is x minus 3 times x plus 3. Okay, now let's work out what's going to be over here. So we're writing it as a single fraction. So x minus 3 into all of this will go x plus 3 times. So we have 5 lots of x plus 3. x plus 3 into the denominator will go x minus 3 times. So we have 4 lots of x minus 3. Not done there, let's expand out the numerator. So we're going to get 5x plus 15 minus 4x plus 12. Draw your line. I'm going to leave the denominator alone for the time being. So that's x minus 3 and x plus 3. 5x minus 4x is x. 12 plus tw uh, 15 plus 12 is 27, like so. And we can leave the denominator alone. x minus 3 times x plus 3. Now, last thing I'm going to do is actually deal with this denominator because I can spot that when I multiply this out, we're going to get something a little bit easier, a little bit simpler. So x plus 27, we're going to leave alone on the top. We're going to draw our line, and we're going to expand this out. x times x is going to give me x squared. Now, the reason why I'm expanding this out, x times 3 is going to give me plus 3x. Negative 3 times x is going to give me minus 3x. They're going to cancel out. And then we're just going to have the negative 3 times the positive 3, which is plus not plus, it's minus 9. And we're done. 